Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is VMP, and we are back, this time, with some more A Clash of Kings mod, based off of Game of Thrones, and the even more popular book series. It is kind of the pinnacle of all mods, maybe, you might say? I don't know. But it is great. So like I just said, and like you can see in the description, we are playing on version 1.2, which was recently released. Uh, all new quests. All new weapons. More enhancements to the game to make it run smoother. Everything we look for in an update is here. So I had to get back into it. Uh, but enough talking, let's head right on in to player creation. So, in Season 1, King Vaughn took over most of the uh, Eastern Continent. He was a ruler, and until his, as we found out in Season 2, uh, suspicious death, might we say? Possibly some betrayal in there. And in Season 2, we played his wayward son, Oneidas. And season 3, we're going to play another son of his, but much lesser known, a bastard. So, and it looks like we have a new starting screen here, so let's go ahead and just read it. You go for a stroll in the streets of your hometown, when you hear that King Robert has been gored to death by a large boar. The fishmonger that you're speaking with tells you that Eddard Stark, the hand of the king, tried to usurp the throne. But the valiant King Joffrey's advisors managed to foil his plot and peace has surely been restored. However, a few days later, a wary traveler arrives with more news. Following the imprisonment of Lord Eddard, the northern lords have marched towards the Riverlands to defeat the Lannisters and free their liege. They ambushed the army of the Kingslayer, routed his forces, and captured Sir Jaime, after which they broke the siege of Riverrun. All of a sudden, the odds seem to be turning against Joffrey and his name is no longer shouted in the streets. Making a quick decision, you decide to strike out, hurriedly selling off your meager position, pos, positions, possessions, I think is what they meant there, <laughs> to a fat innkeeper and packing only the most essential. You finally feel like you control your own destiny, and that whatever course you take, great deeds await you. Continue. So, oh my, okay. Your gender, yes, we will be playing a male. Uh, your father was a land knight? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose you can say that. Uh, you spent your early life as a page in a nobleman's court, and later you became a squaw. These are all set in what we normally get. All right, I like it. <laughs> um, I believe. Correct. Later you became... Perhaps not a squire would we want a pit fighter? Hmm. No, probably not. I think a squire actually is the best choice here. For us, because we're going for strength. Uh, but, so, I'll tell you a little bit more about Arn's backstory. Oops, I just, I just ruined his name! No! Realistic, because that's what we always do. But yes, as I just said, his name is going to be Arn. And his last name is going to be Snow, Arn Snow. And if you are fans of the uh, Clash of Kings series, you probably know what that means. Uh, Snow means that he is a bastard of a, well, of a noble family, at the very least. And so we're going to go all Iron Fellows and Power Strike, and then also put a one in Shield. Uh, archery has been extremely nerfed in this. Uh, but it's still probably the best uh, choice. So we will be putting our weapon points in there at least. Uh, but anyway, so yes, Arn is going... Oh my, that is definitely not what Arn is going to look like. Don't, don't you worry. We will, we will fix him in a sec here. Uh, but Arn is the bastard of Vaughn. Back in his days when he was a vassal of the North, um, he had a... Uh, a lapse in judgment, shall we say? And that unfortunately resulted in Arn nine months later. Now, Vaughn, of course, probably didn't even realize Arn existed, and as such was never in Arn's life. Now, Arn does not see it that way and is quite, uh, quite angry 
at Vaughn, you could say. But there's nothing you can do about it now because, well, Vaughn is dead. So, as we will go into more detail later, that has kind of shut his way in life. But, I will break with you guys just for a sec so I can find a suitable looking iron. And we shall continue then. And here he is. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. That's totally not him. All right, guys. This is going to be the real iron. It's a little odd looking, but, you know, he's he's obviously going to be pretty young. Uh, since he is actually Vaughn's child, so he's going to be pretty young. Uh, you know, maybe say about I don't know, 17, 18. Young man, especially in this in the uh, these times, uh, but that's how he's gonna look, and we can always change that later. It's no big deal. So, you join a merchant and his family traveling towards Storm's End. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are all across the dark soil of the rolling hills, and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle, aurochs, and sheep, are grazing on the summer grass. Occasionally, too. You catch sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness, a testament to the chaos that the Tyrell host caused when it marched through sixteen years earlier. You keep a wide berth of the forest, where desperate men have taken refuge. While passing by the burned ruins of Summerhall, the merchant declares that he's changing his mind, Wanting to take his wares to Weeping Tower instead, having heard of Lysini galleys docking at the nearby harbor. Okay. Following a long trek through the Rainwood, you finally see the town of Weeping Tower in the distance. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn and go in search of a decent tavern. According to an old blind man sitting in the corner drinking a mug of stale ale, a kraken has been seen off the coast of Dorne. And a five-headed calf has been born, killing its mother in the process. Surely an omen to be taken seriously. Dismissing the old fool as crazy, you venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Okay, here we go. First fight scene. Oh, I see him down there already. We have... How did we start with stones of all things? Are you kidding me? Five damage. Ten damage. Wow, we are putting on us... Eleven damage. We're putting on a snipe show with these stones. Get on my level. We're out of stones. Okay, do we have a wooden sword here? Is that what's going on? Oh, it doesn't even matter because we stabbed him right through the heart. I don't care if it's wood or not. That is one nasty ass sword. Look what we are wielding right now. I oh, could use a knife, I suppose. Is the knife actually slower than the sword? Wow, that's messed up. Okay, Osbert Clerk. Ah, we've gone through this uh, several times in all of our series, so uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna rush, or well, we are going to rush through these uh, opening tutorial uh, quests. So if you guys for whatever reason this is the first time you're watching a mountain blade playthrough uh, you can just go ahead and pause the video whenever you want to read one of these blah 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 so, oh wait this is new hmm so he's basically planning to travel to another country uh, I've heard that in the free cities gold flows from watery fountains so maybe I'll go try my fortune in Pentos or Volantos uh, so he advises us before he leaves to do the same and seek our fortune in other lands. War is sure to engulf the seven kingdoms now that the hand has been executed, and the people will be nothing more than war fodder. Poverty feeds on the weak, and the strong men abuse the sword and the lance to impose their power and control over the humble ones. In order to trade, we must pay heavy taxes in each city, sort out bandits and pirates, and pray that a local lord, ignorant and lazy, do not decide to get half of our merchandise to fund his next feast or buy a new horse for his son. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Take my advice and go across the narrow sea. Until a new king has been crowned and anointed by the High Septon, law and unity will remain a vulture's feasting table. So I say, 
seek your destiny elsewhere. Uh, I appreciate the sentiment, but I think I'll stay. War brings opportunity, and I mean to seize my chance. Make a name for myself. Oh, well, I suppose you're right at that. But remember this. War also brings maimed men and w raped women, dead children and shattered hopes. Still, you have a certain look of ability to you. Take this silver and remember me, should you ever make something of yourself. Thank you, friend. Fair travels to you. Okay, well, that was actually a little bit of a different uh, opening scene. I guess uh, the mod creator kind of assumes that you know what you're talking about. And know what you're playing. So, uh, what I'm hoping to do with this series, and wow, we are way down in the south here now, aren't we? Let's uh, get properly oriented. All right, guys. Well, um, you remember how I said that this uh, this mod with this new update, you know, was extra stable. The game's running real smooth. Well, we just had our first crash, and uh, that is troubling, uh, to say the least. Um, I am dubious now of this uh, new update, and I'm kind of hoping that that was just a fluke, uh, an accident, and that that won't be happening very often, or if ever. Um, and the worst part was, is that we didn't even get a chance to save, so I had to, uh, recreate Arn from the beginning, and as such, he looks a little different, um, he kinda looks more, I don't know, serious now? Kinda actually looks more like a person, I don't know, he looks just a little bit different, and wow, he looks derpy in that, uh, with that leather cap on, uh, we'll definitely have to change that. Uh, but, uh, what was it? Well, do we just, what just happened? No, do we not get to pick a banner? Oh, well, I guess we just skipped the chance to choose a banner. I suppose we'll have to wait till we're a lord, which that's what we should be doing is waiting until we're a vassal to have a banner. So that, that's fine. Uh, anyway, I'm curious as to, once again, I had to fight that banner again. And this sword is so bad. What are, what are we using here? Rusty sword, 13 swing, 17 thrust, is this a, like a bad joke? That is so terrible. We need to get like some new weapons ASAP. And to get that, we're going to need some money. So I guess we're going to have to search for some tournaments. And there's a tournament going on right here. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, let's look at what kind of weapons they got here. Ooh, so 4,400. Jeez. That's, uh, that's a bit much. Uh, anything cheaper? Not really. That's kind of lame. Don't really have anything that we'd want to use. That sucks. Uh, but we don't really have enough money to bet on this tournament yet. Let's see if we can't... Uh, find, like, some bandits or something. Some looters. Quick take them out for a little bit of extra co Oh, hey, here we go. Six looters. Uh, take these guys out for a little bit of extra coin. That way we'll be able to bet on everything, uh, in the tournament. Every round to, uh, maximize our winnings, so to speak. Alright. Oh, there they are. Kinda, I don't know. This might suck with our, uh, with our crappy little sword here. Long range. Long range. Long range. Nope. Okay. Fine. Oh, wow. That was... Well, that was a joke. Whatever. There's only six of them. I'm not, I'm not too fast. 30 damage, really? 40 damage. That, that's more like it. I can deal with 40 damage. How did you hit me there? That's what I want to know. Oh, there we go. One looter down. Maybe this sword won't be so bad after all. 37 damage, there we go. That or we might just be getting off some... Hmm, yeah, that's interesting. It seems like, depending on where you hit them with your blade, if, you, if you're if you good and you hit them right with the end of the blade, it does the most damage. But when they're real close to you and you're kind of hitting them halfway up the blade... Whoa, Mount received 65 extra damage? What are you doing? I forgot about that. Oh, I'm pretty sure you can turn that off in the mod options. Hey, look, our horse is going really slow now because it's wounded. Yes, we're definitely going to have to look at the mod options. That is not okay. All right, here we go. Battered leather cap, what do we have? Oh, that is much better. 
uh, it says battered leather cap compared to our leather cap, but it has 13 more head armor. So I guess we'll just not question that and keep it. I'll have to choose that better than what I have. No, it is not. What are we wearing for armor? Peasant's tunic. Five body armor? Five body armor. Really? Jeez. I think Prophecy of Pendor is hard. Look at this start. This is just, like, demonic. This is... I mean, take it easy there, Satan. Don't gotta, don't gotta make it that hard. <sighs> okay. Alright. Well, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Alright, so hopefully we can sell this for a little bit of money. I didn't see how much we got there. Uh, let's go to armor. By the way, what do we got here? 44 leg armor. Wow, that is really good. 50, 25. The 25 leg armor is pretty decent. Our leg armor is going to be higher than body armor. That's a first. Oh, this is terrible. Jeez, these things are really expensive. Oh, but look, we're selling this for a lot of money. Is this, how does this compare to our shield? They're the same thing, but wait. This has more durability. Same stats otherwise. So let's, let's keep that. Can't use any of those yet because we don't have any power draw. We'll have to get that soon. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. 359 coins. That's actually pretty decent for just six looters that we took out. Alright, let's join this tournament. A uh, few participants. Oh, a bunch of knights. Huh. Interesting. Place a bet on ourselves. 13 to 1. I like it. There we go fight in the next round let's go what is oh we have our own armor I forgot about this completely this is going to suck guys oh no we have like no armor and our sword is gonna be worthless against these guys look three damage five damage 12 damage okay we'll take a 12 damage I can deal with 12 picking up Okay, we got an arming sword. Good, this should do more damage now, right? 15. Alright, that wasn't the best blow. We weren't moving fast. 11 damage, okay. I'm a little bit worried, but I mean, we can make do with just 11 damage. We slowly knock him down. Our team appears to be doing okay. Okay, that's one guy down. Ouch, okay. Ouch, that hurt. I actually only clipped us there to do all that much damage. Uh, once we get some better armor, we'll be fine in these. But now, ooh, I'm kind of worried. Ooh, nope, that, that missed. Oh, your horse is going down. Smack their shields a little bit. How you doing? Oh, oh, you're a teammate. Okay. Yeah, it's weird that they don't show us who your teammates are. It'd be nice if they did. Like they just put over like the little, uh, the little banner above their head. Cause like normally you can tell just from your teammates, uh, you know, your armor, same color. But this, not so much. Oh, oh, you guys are on the same team as us. Oh, we did pretty good there. Okay. Uh, another bet. 10 to 1. I love it. Uh, four teams of six. These are some large fights. Some very large fights, to say the least. Uh, let's stick with our team. Hopefully they take this guy out here. Who is he? You have a sweet helmet. I mean, I might be an enemy, but I'll, I'll give you that. You got a sweet helmet. Can I take your sword, please? I mean, so... Where you at? There you are. Are you a teammate? You are. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Jessica, Jessica. Oh. Gotta be careful with these guys, actually. I don't wanna... Oh, hey, we knocked some out. Oh, you're a teammate. I'm sorry. Oh, got that guy off his horse. Let's help you out, actually, because he's got some nice armor. No, we're not doing any damage to this dude. Three damage. There we go. We're elite. Still got a couple of teammates left from the looks of it. Are you on our team? Oh, you were on our team. Take out the person that took you out. Actually, no, that was a different person, I guess. Who are you? No, only archers don't do too well. Oh, you're the one that took out our teammate. Wow! Did we just take out two guys? No, we didn't. Never mind. <laughs> Thought we did. No, we just caused, I think, charging damage to the one guy. Not sure. Don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on it. Ooh, 
Ooh, another nice victory for our team. We're not doing too bad. I was a little bit worried about this, but oh man, the last round is going to suck. Oh, because whenever we have to do a one-on-one, -on -one, we're not going to be able to pick up anyone's sword. I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, as long as we're on horse, I think we'll be okay, but... Oh man, that, ooh, that, that is troubling. Alright, let's pick up this dude's sword. Where'd it go? Equip. Let me equip it. There we go. Alright, there we go. Oh, wow, you just cut me right there. Ooh, 23 damage. Not too bad. Not too shabby, huh? Oh, you're going down. That's level 2 for us. Okay. Uh, we'll take that right away, because that'll mean strength 15, which means more power strike, which we are desperately needing. And I'm going to be putting my points into one-handed, because we're doing so little damage right now. Uh, archery can wait. Archery is, well, not even going to be that big of a deal anyways. Oh, do we really let him hit us like that? There we go. 31 damage. That power, that power strike helped. Well, we haven't gotten knocked unconscious yet. Knock on wood. Yep. Oh, you were a teammate last round. What you doing? Why you, why you do this? Is it really two on one? Fun. Me, I am, okay. We are literally in peasant's garb right now. Like, we are in a leather t-shirt. And our starting weapon, the rusty sword, is basically just a rod of metal. A rod of rusty metal. Like, Arn took this out of a fireplace. This is one of the things you use, like, a fire poker. Like, you use this to move, like, logs of fire around. Or burning logs. Logs of fire, is that a thing? No. And he was like, ah. I can be a knight with this. Let's go against people with actually sharp weapons and stuff. Because that's clearly a smart idea. <sighs> Just need some armor. Win this tournament, we can get some... We can actually get a sword. Sword is more important than armor at this stage. Because our sword literally will do nothing against these guys. Even this sword is having some problems. Alright. Just be smart. Turn around. Come back. Ugh. And unfortunately, I do believe they've, they've changed the combat a little bit, just from the vibe I'm getting here, that if you do zero damage to someone, if they have such good armor, and you don't do a good enough blow against them, it'll basically act as if they blocked your strike, which is going to be deadly to us. Um, not gonna, whoa, we're all on foot, this is not okay, let's, let's go with this guy. Two damage, zero damage. Russ. Oh, there we go. 17 damage. That was not bad. I have to remember that. Oh, down you go. Okay, you you got a sword? No, you got a mace. I want a sword, sword, sword. I'm sword. There we go. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, 49 damage. Okay, thrusting is the way to go. Thrusting is definitely the way to go. Okay. Fifth round, man. Two teams of two remain. Who do we got? Sir Peyton, the weakest. How is he still in this if he's so weak? Sir Patrick Hersey and Sir Raynard the Tall. Okay, let's go. Oh, we are on... What? We're on foot and he's on a horse. Oh, no, that's our teammate. Why are we up? What? What is this? I'm calling... I'm calling BS on this one. They're, they don't like this newcomer. They're trying to... Treat... Oh, okay. Gotta back him away. Oh, come back. Oh, and then we do the thrust. Yeah, thrusting is the only way to go against armored opponents, apparently. Ah, oh, that was... No. Didn't get enough separation there. Oh, there we go. Oh, how did he block that? Oh, there we go. See it? Oh, sweet, that's our teammate. Okay, I was worried about that. I was like, oh, we gotta take on another person. All right, last round, one-on-one. -on -one. Can we do this? This is honestly probably the hardest tournament we've ever done. Oh, and we're on our horse. Yes. This is probably the hardest tournament we've ever had to do on our channel. Like, forget the Noldor tournaments. This is harder. At least we were on equal footing with the Noldor. These guys have a huge advantage against us. If only we had a lance. If we had a lance, we'd be pretty good as long as we're on horseback. But that's the problem. We're not... Some rounds, we're not on horseback. Yo, we're doing some good damage against him. We're fine. Don't worry about it, guys. We got this. 
Now, one thing we're going to have to worry about once we get done with this tournament is... Oh, oh, oh there we go. Um, is all the roaming bandits. It's all coming back to me now from previous seasons, man. The raiders here are vicious. Oh, this guy's actually doing some damage to us. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, he nearly knocked us unconscious there. Okay. 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 Let me calm. There we go. Huh. For the victory. For all the monies. Ooh. A jubilant merchant of Weeping Town Tower gives you a fine great sword. Yes, that's what we needed right there, guys. Oh my god. 24 swing, but 44 thrust. Oh yes. So we can't use it on horseback, but baby, when we're not on horseback. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna wreck some people. Yeah, that's weird that the thrust is so low on it. Or, I mean, that the swing is so low on it. All these other swings are like 34, 37. This is 24. That's strange, but, I mean, I'm not complaining because we got a, we got a, we got a sword now. What about armor? What can we get here? Uh, uh, we could get this for 35 and 10. That's still not that great. Uh, for a little bit more, we could get this. That's actually not too bad for the price. Uh, at least in... Comparison to everything else. Um, hmm. Male gauntlets, 10 to body armor. That's pretty decent. Uh, for low price. Leather gloves with 5. Okay. Um, I think we gotta... I think we definitely have to, uh, go into some lord's army just so that we can get armor that way. And then eventually we'll just leave with the armor. Because... We don't care about the Lord's relation. Uh, but what I'm really looking to do with this series is... Uh, Arn is going to be a mercenary. He's doing quests for people. He's fighting in their armies. He's becoming a mercenary eventually. His own mercenary party. And that's one of the things in the previous uh, seasons of this mod I haven't explored. Is that this mod has tons of different quest trees that you can follow. Uh, with some pretty sweet uh, rewards I might add. So, we're definitely going to want to keep that in mind. Um, one in particular I'm looking to do is there's a quest tree in the north. I think you start it in White Harbor, from what I read online. And it's about kind of the wildlings in the wall. So, definitely would want to try to check that one out. And that's why I kind of said that Arn was going to be from the north. But uh, we didn't get the chance to spawn up there. They just automatically spawn us down south. But, I mean... Hey, whatever. No big deal. We'll eventually work our way up there. Uh, but I think in between we want to join some faction instead. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, let's actually check out our camp and mod options. Okay. Uh, what is this? What does this do? Yeah, no. Pike horse damage tweaks, not happening. Oh, health bars. Uh, yep. Show health bars. That's always fun. Always show battle mini-map. That's cool. Uh, we'll take down the size a little bit. Uh, report extra XP. I don't care about that. Um, speed of battles on map. Oh, that's fine. Skill penalty from encumbrance. No. Range penalty from weather. No. Avoid drowning in missions. That's not going to ever work. Enable tournament enhancements. I guess that's what that was. And you know what? I actually kind of like that because tournaments are normally too easy. And that makes that made them really hard. I, I enjoy that. That was fun. So we're going to actually uh, keep that. Uh, Lords return from exile. Sure. Diplomacy AI changes. Uh, no, no, no. Don't really care. Is that it? Hmm. Diva. Okay. Where's that horse thing? Hmm. Can I not select it so that the horse no longer... Oh. Disable horse speed scaling. Yes, that. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're done. That's enough of that. 
Okay, so I think we're going to want to start heading north. And if anything, let's uh, check to see if there's some more tournaments nearby. Um, because we're definitely going to need some more uh, cash. Uh, blah. Thank you. Turning nearby towns. Sisterton, Lannisport, Duskendale, Barrowton. I know Lannis Port is up there. That's kind of far away. That's pretty far away. Uh, Duskendale, is that... Mm, oh, is that Barrowton? No. Hmm. Sisterton is up here. That's even farther away. Uh, tell you what. I should be honest, I don't even know. Um... And it, honestly, we're kind of at the end of the episode here. So, I think what we'll do is we'll start heading north for a little bit. See if we can't run into uh, one more party of looters and try out this new uh, great sword that we obtained from winning the tournament. And uh, I think we can go ahead and end it off there. So let's just go north, be careful. 14 looters, uh, sure. It might be a bit difficult, but I think we can handle it. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that great sword on our back. That that looks magnificent. Just magnificent. <laughs> Alright. Come on. On guard. Let's charge him. Oh, yes. So much better. Now that we can see their health. Oh, oh boy. Wow, that was not... That was not smart. <laughs> to say the least. Oh. Oh, there's that guy dodging your arrows. It's like the Matrix out here. 36 damage. You're hurting. You're hurting. I like how some of these trees we can ride right through. Other than it's like, nope. You're stopping dead in your tracks. Like, the, like that one. What? That one doesn't like, even look bigger or anything than the other ones. It's just a random tree that's like, no. Thou shall not pass. Whatever. Ooh. Oh, damn. Couldn't keep it up. I was like, oh, we're on a killing spree. Someone stop us. Ooh. Okay. Ow. Whoa. You sniped us there. You sniped us real good. You can't. I can't let you live after that. That's not okay. Now, once we take these guys down a little. Oh, we one shot at him. That's our first one shot. Maybe. Probably not. Whoa, okay, didn't mean to jump there. I accidentally hit the space bar. Alright, once we take care of these archers, or at least so there's only a few left, we'll dismount and take out our sword. But I don't want to do that right now because I feel like we could get pretty overwhelmed. Uh, how many there are left? Six? Okay. Uh, five? I think we can handle them now. Ooh, come here, baby. Oh, yes, I love it. Alright, we need to do some thrusting. That, <laughs> that sounded so wrong. 73 damage. Yeah, thrusting is where we're going to make our money with this sword. Uh, because honestly, uh, slashing-wise, it really doesn't do that much damage. Um, oh, what you doing? What are you doing? You like came back at me and you're like, nope, just kidding. I don't like that. Playing mind games with me or something. Three damage from charging. He's definitely on his last legs. No man can take more than what? Four damage? And you already took three. Oh, did that other guy escape? Lucky guy. Oh well. All looters will meet their end. Yep, 13 of them down. Ooh, lots of goodies to be obtained from this. I love it. That's great. 108 coins from that. All right, so on that note, I think we'll go ahead and end off the episode. Uh, pretty successful first episode, going through an insane mode tournament, harder than Prophecy of Pandora. Harder than the Noldor tournaments. Harder than any tournament we've done before. And uh, we've overcome this... Uh, well, we haven't completely overcome it because we're still using it. But we do have a great alternative to this 
Uh, I'm calling this the, I don't know, the, <laughs> the wood poker from now on because that's essentially what it is. Uh, we got a better sword than the wood poker. We got a decent amount of cash. Got more stuff to sell. I'm liking it. I think, I think we'll be all right, guys. I think we'll be all right. So, as always, leave me some comments down below as to what you're thinking about this series, what you want to see more of, and I'll be sure to get it out for you guys. So, as always, take it easy.